give you 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 alone Lord I give you you thanks Lord I give 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 you thanks I give you thanks Jesus I give you thanks Lord Hallelujah Echo Shatai Maneko Shatana Mokosa Lord I give you thanks Yet ever Kosha I give you my mind, Lord. I give you my body. Oh God, I give you my soul. I give you my heart. I give you my hands. I give you my feet. I give you my eyes. I give you my ears. God, I give you everything. I give you everything. I give you everything. Oh God, for you gave your whole for me. You gave your whole for me, Jesus. You gave your whole for me, Jesus. Hallelujah. Therefore, I give you thanks. Therefore, I give you thanks. Therefore, I give you thanks, Jesus. Oh, I give you thanks this day. Hallelujah, Jesus. I give you thanks this moment. I give you thanks, God. I know it's not enough, Jesus. I know it's not enough, Lord. But God, with everything that is within me, I will bless your name. God, I will bless your name, Jesus. With all that is within me. Ah, I give you thanks. Lord, I give you thanks. Hallelujah. I give you. I give you. I give you. I give you my all. I give you my all. I wish somebody would just join me in giving God their all. Hallelujah. I give you my all. I give you my all, Jesus. Oh, Lord. How oh, excellent. How oh, excellent, Lord, is thy name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hey, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, I give you thanks, Jesus. Yes, Lord, I give you thanks. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, bless God. Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Can we just shout, thank you, Jesus? Come on, with everything that is within you. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. If you only know the the power that is in your praise. You would praise God like you're crazy today. Hallelujah. I said, if you only knew the 
power of praise. You will praise him like there's no tomorrow. Oh, bless the name. Bless the name of Jesus. Have you any rivers in your life? Have you any mountains? Have you any valley? Hallelujah. Begin to praise God. Oh, bless God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Bless God. Bless God. Bless God. At this time, praise God. It's Youth Sunday. Praise God. At this time, our youth president to us. Hallelujah. Keep the spirit of worship. Hallelujah. If you came in heavy, hallelujah, put on the garment of praise. Oh, bless God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Glory, 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 glory. Praise the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Can we continue to give him the glory? Hallelujah. Jesus is Lord. We exalt you, Lord. We exalt you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, let us pray. Hallelujah, we're going to unite our voices together in prayer to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Hallelujah, we expect a mighty move of the Lord in this place. He has been moving already. Hallelujah, and we're turning our buckets up. Hallelujah, for he's going to continue to move in this place. Let us pray in Jesus' name. in Jesus name Jesus. hallelujah and then can we clap our hands unto the Lord 
Hallelujah. Can we clap our hands unto the Lord? Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. God is great and greatly to be praised. Hallelujah. We will bless his name forevermore. Praise the Lord Jesus. I just want to use this opportunity to greet the household of faith to our bishop, evangelist, pastor, missionary Brown, all the wonderful ministers, saints, lovely children, and visiting friends in the name that saves, the name that heals, the name that set free, the name that delivers, the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm so glad that it's all in Jesus. Hallelujah. Everything that we need, it's in this man called Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Before we go into the scripture reading, we're just going to sing this song. Tell me who made the angels sing. Tell me who made the joy bells ring. Tell me who is the king of kings. Nobody but my Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Tell me who made the angels sing. Tell me who made the joy bells ring. Tell me who is the king of kings. Nobody but my Lord. Yes, he made the world, he made the sea and land. Fasting them together with his mighty hand. Under his control, under his command. Nobody but my Lord. Tell me who made the joy bell ring. Tell me who is the king of kings. Nobody but my Lord. Tell me who made the angels sing. Tell me who made the joy bell ring. Tell me who is the king of kings. Nobody but my Lord. Yes, he made the world, he made the sea and land. Blessing them together with his mighty hand Under his control, under his command Nobody but my Lord Who made the angels sing to me Who made the joy bell ring to me Who is the king of kings Nobody but my Lord Tell me who made the angels sing to me who made the joy bell ring to me who is the king of kings nobody but my lord yes he made the world he made the sea and land fastened them together with his mighty hand under his control under his command nobody oh who made the angels sing to me who May the door bell ring to me who is the king of kings. Nobody but my Lord. Tell me who made the angels sing to me who. May the door bell ring to me who is the king of kings. Nobody but my Lord. Yes, he made the world, he made the sea and land. Fasting them together with his mighty head. Under his control, under his command Nobody but my Lord Who made the angels sing to me Who made the joy bell ring to me Who is the king of kings Nobody but my Lord Yes, he made the world He fastened them together It's under his control And if the people don't want to praise you, you're excellent, Lord, yeah. And if the people don't want to praise you, you're excellent, Lord, yeah. Lord, you're excellent, Jesus, you're excellent. You're excellent, Lord, yeah. You're excellent, Jesus, you're excellent. You're excellent, Lord, yeah. And if the people don't want to praise you, you're excellent, Lord, yeah. And if the people don't want to praise you, you're excellent, Lord, yeah. You're 
Jesus, your excellence, your excellence, Lord, yeah. Your excellence, Jesus, your excellence, your excellence, Lord, yeah. And if the people don't want to praise you, your excellence, your excellence, if the people. If the people don't want to praise you, your excellency, Lord, yeah. If the people don't want to praise you, your excellency, Lord, yeah. Oh, your excellence, your excellence, your excellence, your excellence, your excellence, your excellence, your excellency, Lord, yeah. If the people don't want to praise you, your excellency, Lord, yeah. If the people don't want to praise you, your excellency, Lord, yeah. If the people don't want to praise you, your excellency, Lord, yeah. If the people don't want to praise you, your excellency, Lord, yeah. Your excellency, your excellency, your excellency, your excellency, your excellency, your excellency, your excellency. You're excellent. 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 You're excellent in Jamaica. You're excellent in America. You're excellent. You're excellent. You're excellent in the If the people don't want. Lord, your excellency, Lord, yeah. If the people don't want to praise you, your excellency, Lord, yeah. Put your hands together. Your excellency, your excellency, your excellency, your excellency, your excellency. Your excellence, your excellence, Lord, yeah. Your excellence, 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 Lord, yeah. Lord, your excellence, 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 Lord, yeah. Your excellence. Excellent, 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 excellent. You are excellent in God. Excellent, 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 excellent. excellent. Excellent, excellent in all the earth. We are excellent, excellent, 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 we are 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 excellent, your excellence, your excellence, your excellence, your excellence, your excellence in all the earth. I said your excellence, your excellence, your excellence, your excellence, your excellence, your excellence, your excellence in all the earth. I tell them that your excellence, your excellence, your excellence, your excellence, your excellence, your excellence. You're excellent in all the world. I say you're excellent. You're excellent. You're excellent. You're excellent. 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 Excellent in all the world. I say you're excellent. Monday. 
to share you know as we came in earlier and we were giving God thanks and singing about giving thanks I remember when I was in U at UE and it was a really rough season student loan just kept canceling my loan in the middle of exams and I had a lot of issues and just couldn't figure out the solutions and what to do and I remember upon missing some exams I there was this particular exam that I was studying for really excited about it and I kept checking the timetable to see the time of the exam and let's say I was seeing 11 a.m. and I kept checking 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 and when I went to do the exam I realized that I had the wrong time and I had already missed the exam upon the other exams that I was missing and I became very angry. I was like, God, you couldn't tell me that I had the wrong time. 
and I just felt so overwhelmed come uh, with with the other pressures that I was facing and you know as I was complaining I was complaining to the Lord I heard uh, his voice in my spirit in everything give thanks for this is the will of God concerning you and at that time that's not what I wanted to hear I was angry but something about his word just gave me great peace hallelujah and even though I cried in, in, in pain, there was this peace that's within me and I just started to give the Lord thanks. Things never changed overnight. It never changed the next year. It took a while. But the Lord taught me to give thanks in difficult situations when I couldn't see a way out. I, 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 when I tell you I, I, I had no idea what my future was looking like, I am so serious. Everything I tried just failed. And you know, the Lord brought me to a place now. If I should begin to tell you how much the Lord is working in my life at this moment concerning school, you would be amazed at the doors that the Lord has opened in everything. Give thanks for that's the will of the Father concerning you. God is going to make a way. Don't watch the situation. Watch your God. Hallelujah. I know invite and minister to God. Minister to him. Come on, travel, travel up there, Bridget. Get in the spirit, travel up there. Worship God. Just stand before his throne and minister to him. Hallelujah. Hello, my Messiah. Hello, Mama Shantai. Hello, Messiah. Let the angels fold their wings. Let Gabriel and Michael fold their wings. Let everybody stand attention to your worship. Hallelujah. If you, if you got to bow down, you can bow down. If you got to prostrate, you can prostrate on the ground. But if you want to stand and lift your hands. But let's get to the throne of God. Hallelujah. I worship you, Father Jesus. You've been good to me. You're the lifter up of my head. Oh God, when I was down, you, you, you lift me up. When I was sick, you healed me. When I had no one to turn to, you were my cushion. You're my protector. You're my provider. Does anybody have any words to give him? Can you find some words to, to, to love him with? And if you, can, if you can't find the words, just begin to say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, we, we're not playing music right now. Your praise is the music right now. Your voice is the instrument at this time. Hallelujah. Echo Messiah. Shanda Matosaya. It's a serious now. We're walking up to the throne. Hallelujah. Mando Shatai. God Almighty. Matosaya Makosaya. I feel a glory. I feel a glory. Matashaya. Echo Mama Messiah. Mm -hmm. Yes, Lord, I, I feel the presence of the Holy Ghost. We thank God for Missionary Bell, Missionary Guthrie. Oh, God, and we reach this point now. We just want to stand before the throne, withholding nothing. I surrender all to you, Jesus. Yes, I hear the little children praising God. Hallelujah. Come on, just, just picture. If you can't picture it, just know that you're standing before the throne of God. Mando Satai. Hila, Mama Masai. Eko, Mama Masai. 
in the Old Testament they had to get a lamb or, or some type of animal to present to the high priest to offer up a sacrifice but now the Bible said that we are the living sacrifice holy and acceptable unto God which is our reasonable service present yourself to him now present yourself to him everybody every being in this house present yourself before the almighty one hallelujah Jesus thank you God we're standing before the throne of Jesus Christ the Lamb of God hallelujah standing before him tell him something don't be ashamed you're in the house of God this is Liberty Hall this is your father's house hallelujah thank you Lord thank you Jesus we praise you oh God for that spirit of light who has shown us our savior and scattered our night hallelujah thine the glory hallelujah amen hallelujah thine the glory revive us again we praise thee oh God for the son of thy love hallelujah for Jesus who died and is now gone above we praise thee oh God hallelujah Jesus thank you Lord yes we are before we are before the throne of God hallelujah we are before the throne brethren whenever we worship just remember that we are before the throne of the almighty God hallelujah a very holy place a very dreadful place this is not an entertainment it is worship worship give it to him if you have to cry out give it to him mm. we're standing before the mercy seat we're standing before the mercy seat life and death is at the throne hallelujah 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 we praise you lord god we praise the oh god just minister to him minister to him offer up something to him hallelujah praise him praise him praise him it may not be loud and it may not be quiet but as long as it comes from the heart offer it up to him offer it up to him praise God thank you Jesus hallelujah Beko Messiah Jesus Jesus offer it up to him he's worthy he's worthy to be praised he's worthy he's worthy he's worthy he's worthy he's worthy he's worthy hallelujah he's worthy he's worthy to be praised he's worthy hallelujah praise God glory to God thank you Jesus yes hallelujah 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 we are before the throne we are before the throne of God today hallelujah we are before the throne of God and every time that you live brethren we walk we are before the throne of God praise God hallelujah hallelujah 
If you're on the job, you're on the throne. You're, you're right in front of the throne. If you're in school, you're right in front of the throne of God. At your bed, in the bathroom, hallelujah, you're in front of the throne. Driving the car, hallelujah. We live at the throne of God. He's monitoring, monitoring everything. Hallelujah. That's why the Bible says, in, in everything that we do, in word or in deed, do all in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Because we are before the throne of the Almighty God. We live a life of worship. That's all we do is worship. The Bible said, occupy till he comes. So we work, we go to school, we go to the supermarket, but our life is worship. The theme of our life is worship. Praise God. And today we just gather together, not because we are here just on a Sunday to worship, but we worship every day. But we just gather together on a Sunday to come together and praise the Lord, worship him. But 24 seven, we are on call to worship God. Praise God. When you look in the book of Revelation, the Bible says that the 24 elders, they lay their crowns down and they bow before him and they worship. Amen. The four beasts, they worship. We on earth, we have the spirit of God in us. And though we walk on earth, we are still connected to heaven. So when heaven is worshiping, we get the signal. Hallelujah. Can anybody feel the signal of worship? Hallelujah. In the middle of the night, just get up and lift your hands and say hallelujah. In the middle of a bath or at the kitchen at the stove. While driving your car, your hand lifted up. Hallelujah. No special time. Hallelujah. But we walk by the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. When heaven calls for worship, the church must be in attention to worship. Stop what you're doing. Somebody said, Stop what you're doing and worship. Hallelujah. 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 We worship. Does anybody get the signal to worship? Yes, your body may feel tired. Praise God Almighty. But the spirit inside of you drives you to worship. Oh, glory. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory. Woo! Shanda Babasaya. Echo Mama Basatai. Hallelujah. Can somebody open up their mouth? Can you open up your mouth wide for God and give him everything and shout hallelujah? Lord of mercy. Can we open up our mouth wide and shout hallelujah? Oh God, let it come from the belly. Let it come from the inner parts of your body and shout unto your king. Oh glory to God. Oh glory. Hallelujah. Hello, Messiah. Echo Mama Masatai. Jesus. Jesus. Oh glory. Hallelujah. Worship, worship. Hallelujah. 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 Yes, worship. For brethren, we are just clay. We are just lump of clay. Oh God. We are just a lump of clay before him. But we were made to worship. We were formed to worship him. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We choose today to worship. Because we know the word of the Lord. Man was created to worship God. They were made after his own image. His own likeness. We worship him and him alone. We worship him today. Hallelujah. 
We owe him everything. We owe him. He doesn't owe us. We owe him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I know the previous moderators. I know they administered worship to the Holy Ghost. But it's never too much. It's never too much to worship God. Hallelujah. Never too much. Hallelujah. We give God the praise today. Hallelujah. Let everybody just lift your hands and clap your hands in the air. Clap your, lift it up above your heads. And clap it towards heaven. Hallelujah. Amen. Give God a standing ovation this day. Give God a standing ovation. He never made a mistake. Give him a standing ovation. God never made a mistake. He never, he never made an error. He deserves a standing ovation. He deserves a hand clap. He never made a mistake. Sometimes we clap individuals who made mistakes. We do it to make them feel good. But the one who is spotless never made one mistake, never sinned. He deserves a standing ovation. Daka Messiah. Oh God, the one that loved you when nobody has loved you. The one that had patience with you, compassion on you. He deserves a standing ovation. We give him the praise today. Amen. Praise God. We thank God for this hour. Praise the Lord. Thank God for the Holy Ghost. Amen. Somebody say welcome. We welcome you, Holy Ghost. We welcome you, Holy Ghost, in this house. Amen. To our bishop and his wife, to my wife and children, all the ministers and all the saints. I greet every one of you in Jesus' name. God is good. Amen. Somebody say God is good. God is good. Somebody say Jesus, you're good. Come on, talk to him, talk to him. Jesus, you're so good. Oh God, learn to talk to him. You're good, Lord. You're good, Lord. Praise God. You may be seated. We have so Lord. How many of you give God the praise for the fasting? Praise the Lord. Amen. In our fasting, one was baptized and one received the Holy Ghost. And Minister Chambers came back. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Uh, come on, you stand on your feet and give God the prayer. Because when you fast, you want to see results. Amen. Amen. So we give God the praise. We prayed and God delivered. This boy, him not start mash up with dining room and kitchen and garbage pants. The anointing just are moving all over when we have prayer meeting in the house. So we give God the praise and we, we're praying for Brother Royal and for Brother Bay and all those that need the Holy Ghost. Amen. I want to see everybody on fire for the Holy Ghost. Come on, somebody. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. So we're going to continue fast and pray. Amen. And we're going to watch God work. Come on. We're not, we're not worrying what the enemy is doing. Amen. No, I'm not, I'm not shedding a tear. I am going forward in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. That's why I thank God for my bishop who I've watched and watched him, watched every step he made. And that's why I am to be what I am today because of him and the Holy Ghost. Amen. So I'm not watching about, as I said before, the church is like a bus. I'm going to say it again. It pick up and it drop off. Amen. But we're still moving on. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. Are anybody tired? I'm not shedding a tear, you know. Anybody tired? You have to move on. Jesus had how many disciples? 72. How much leave? 60 left. What a big church he had, you know. And 60 left. Because he said, except you eat my flesh and drink my blood, you no have no part with me. They said, they said this is a hard saying. And 60 of them walk out one time and leave 12. And he look at the 12. Come on, talk to me, church. And he said, will you also go? Somebody said, where shall we go? To whom shall we go? Come on, somebody. We're not going to stop talking the truth in here. I don't hear the church. So if your sister left or your brother left, make them go ahead. But we will continue in the name of the Lord. This is what it costs for brethren. If your wife stop, you can't stop. If your husband stop, you can't stop. It's only room for two. Remember, Lord of mercy, come on, somebody praise the Lord. 
That's why in church you have to be careful. I'm not here because I'm Minister Royal. I'm not here because of Sister Sister Kai. Cause when Sister Kai dropped me, dropped too. I'm not here because I'm Minister God. When Minister God fall back, me fall too. But if you have a personal relationship with Jesus, come on, somebody say personal relationship. Somebody say personal relationship. Somebody say personal. My Jesus and I, we have what? That's why when you come to church, you know, no run to sit next to somebody every time. Find, a, find any seat and give God praise. For it's not a friendship praise. It's not a BFF praise. It's not a family business. When I come to church, I have my parents, but I come to see Jesus. Somebody shout Jesus. Somebody shout Jesus. Somebody shout Jesus. Why did you come to church today? Did you come to see me? You come to worship God. And even if you came with somebody in your car, from your come out the car, you say, I see you after church. But I'm going to worship Jesus. Come on, somebody praise the Lord. Somebody praise the Lord. Amen. When you, some of you, you, don't, you will learn. When you, you, you come in, you will learn. You don't know yet. You, you learn. But when you come, you will see what salvation is all about. Amen. God bless you, Sister Bay. Come now. Receive her with a hearty praise the Lord. T take your time and come. Take your time, Lord Jesus. I gotta. Amen. God bless you. Bless the name of God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I just want to start off with this chorus. Um, he is real. He is real. And I know, I know He's real. He is real. He's real. For I know He's real. Praise God. Praise God. And I know, I know he's real. Praise the Lord one more time. Praise the Lord. I'd like to greet the household of faith, my bishop, my pastor, his wife, friends, family, visitors, in Jesus' name. You turn your Bible with me to Psalms 30. When you find it, please say amen. It said, I will exalt thee, O Lord, for thou hast lifted me up and has not made my foes to rejoice over me. O Lord, my God, I cry unto thee, and thou hast healed me. O Lord, thou hast brought up my soul from the grave. Thou hast kept me alive, that I should not go down to the pit. Sing unto the Lord, O ye saints of his, and give thanks at the remembrance of his holiness. For his anger endure it but a moment, in his favor is life. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. And in my prosperity I said I shall never be moved. Lord, by thy favor thou hast made my, my mountains to stand strong. Thou didst hide thy face, and I was troubled. I cried to thee, O Lord, and unto the Lord I made supplication. What profit is there in my blood when I go down to the pit? Shall the dust praise thee? Shall it declare thy truth? Hear, O Lord, and have mercy upon me. Lord, be thou my helper. 
Thou hast turned for me my mourning into dancing. Thou hast put off my sash cloth and grinded me with gladness to the end that my glory may sing praise to thee and not be silenced. O Lord my God, I will give thanks unto thee forever. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. I just want to start off with saying that God is a great God and he is a merciful God. You know, it's a lot to give thanks for despite everything that's going on around us i know sometimes you know we 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 take things for granted because we hear it so we, we hear it so much so we tend to take it for granted because we hear it so much but i just want to thank him for life this morning i want to thank him for all the members of our bodies i want to thank him you know just for everything for blessing me for keeping me i just want to say that you know god truly he you know when when you put him first he really does work on the desire of your heart and i'm not just saying it to say it he really does work on the desire of your heart you know at times we you know we, we it's not that we don't follow the Bible, but you know, people turn the Bible how they want to put it instead of following. And you have to put God work first. He come first. When you put him first, he will take care of you. It's not the other way around. You don't do what you want to do and then you put him last. That's not how it goes. And I can say that he is truly one that work on the desire of your heart. I remember I was in a situation and i can i can tell you you know and i was there and you know sometimes you know sometimes we may think that we know what's best for us but we really don't know what's best for us and sometimes it might look like you know god is being mean or or, or he don't love you or he don't care about you but there is such thing as tough love and when you sit back and you and you and you real hallelujah and you realize that you look into it afterwards you say god i was really about to go down another destructive road and i just want to thank him but i can truly say he work on the desire just put him first he's not a hard god to deal with he's a loving god he's a merciful god i remember a situation i was in and brethren the god that we serve how he work is that you have to give him something to work with almighty god because the bible said i he helped those that help them themselves almighty god of nazareth and i remember being in a situation almighty god of nazareth and you have to make up your mind sometime it takes faith in the name of jesus even when you see nothing i know we hear that so many times that it takes faith but it really does take faith brethren even when you don't see it it takes faith and i was determined i said i'm going to do what i have to do to please God so that I can get what I wanted and I decided that I was going to put myself to the side and I did that and God blessed me he blessed me he blessed me he blessed me brethren he blessed me it's not just mo talk he's a good God even in the midst of a pandemic almighty God we were looking for a place and we found it when others was having problems we found it God is a good God there's many things that will happen for you when you put him first he's not a difficult God he just want worship that's all he wants we're in the last and closing days brethren let us stop the foolishness in the name of Jesus I love him today my creator he's my all in all he's the great I am he is the everlasting God he is the everlasting God he is the way maker he is the Jehovah in the name of Jesus he is the great Elian worship him brethren that's all he want I love him I don't know about you but I love him I love him brethren I love him I love him almighty God I love him father God that's where I get my strength from that's where I get everything from sometimes I don't know how I make it but only because of him only because of 
them sometimes you hear people tell them testimony but you have to be in it brethren to, to see how good he is you pray my strength in Jesus name my God thank you Jesus Come on, somebody praise the Lord for that testimony from our sister. Lord, I don't hear the church, man. You sound like a... If you, if you know how, where she's coming from, and give God the praise in the house. Come on, somebody give God the praise in the house. Come on, somebody give God the praise in the house. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We give God the praise for her. Hallelujah. For the exhaltation out of her mouth. And, I, and trust me, I'm, I, I don't know. God is great. When I hear her, she talk like, she, my God, she talk like, man, she, she, stable stuff, man. Come on, someone, stable stuff. Uh, stable stuff, real stable stuff. Hey, Amen. You, you, you got to be, you got to be strong to tell people, say, look, put away the foolishness. Not, not everybody can say that. <laughs> because if you're doing it, you can't tell other people. <laughs> so you have to have a stand in these last times. Amen. To stand. Praise God. Amen. We give God the praise. Clap your hands and praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord Jesus. And we give God the praise. I want all these young sisters just to shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Amen. Come on. Come on. All the young people shout hallelujah. Come on, shout hallelujah. All the young people shout hallelujah. Echo Messiah. All the young people shout hallelujah. Yeah. Sometimes you don't even know who have what and who don't have. And some of you who work in the hospital, it's worse. My God, but my God, things have to continue as usual. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. So we are not going to stop with the work of God. We are going to continue. Somebody said, backward never. And forward ever. Amen. I just want to encourage your hearts real quick. First Kings chapter 22. Amen. The same scripture we read today. Amen. And I want to talk about, amen, the voices. Amen. The voices. Somebody say voices. Amen. Voices. Somebody say voices will call. But my Savior voice is sweeter than all. And we're living in a time now, brethren, when there's so many voices. You go on the internet, voices. You're on the train, voices. Everywhere you go, you hear different type of voices. But the question is, which one of the voice is true? That's what we want to get to. Which one of the voice is true? And we're looking at 1 Kings chapter 22. And I want everyone, please, to open up your Bibles. Amen. To see it for yourself. Amen. Mark it down for yourself. Amen. For this is not the time now for preachers to be pouting, running, and jumping, and jumping on chandeliers. And all the brethren have to say is, oh, he can't preach, man. He can't preach. Now is the time to get the word. Amen. Get the word. Praise God. It's not about me prancing or jumping or shouting or speaking in tongues. It's all about the word. Somebody said the word. Amen. I know, you know, we're, we're living in a time now where people are sitting in congregations and they are judging preachers who can preach better than who. Who have more stamina. Who have more voice. Who have more action. Who can get the church to stand up. Who can get more amens who can bring a vibe to the service but somebody said not so somebody said not so come on church open up your mouth and say not so it is the word of God somebody said the word of God so even if a preacher come up here and he stands still and from he come up here he stand one place it is still the word of God come on somebody praise the Lord somebody praise the Lord somebody praise the Lord it is not the jump up it's not the strong voice amen it's not the, the, the roar behind your voice. It's all about the word of God. And we're living in a time now where that is ruling in church now. 
the vibes amen the hotness praise God and, and the sad thing about it is it is not the Holy Ghost authentic hotness it's only a form of godliness it is only a microwave it's no real fire it's just a microwave but when you have the real fire brethren it doesn't matter what you're going through praise God when the word of God is inside of you somebody say you cannot fall because the word of God is there but when you have the microwave stuff you can't make it people may be watching us and they may see you know people watch us and they, they see the worship and they, they try to copy it you know yeah. yeah man they're watching us you know brethren let me say it they're watching us and, and they don't know that this don't come by hype minister it don't come by hype it don't come by feel good because sometimes we don't feel good but the anointing makes the difference come on somebody praise the Lord so, so when they watch you they want to emulate somebody say oh well often duplicated often imitated but never duplicated they, they're watching to see how we move but look you cannot imitate it you have to get it from heaven above there's some stuff no matter how you copy it Jesus have to give it to you for in order for you to have the authentic anointing so you may see me jumping and you may see us praising God and you may say my God well, I, I'm going to jump higher than how they jump I'm going to shout more than how they shout but it's not my might it's not my power but it's what brethren by my spirit somebody said the spirit so uh, you, you see churches now they're trying to copy now and, and people are running them now no, because the hype but the hype stuff don't last long the hype stuff don't last long young people it, it takes prior somebody said prior it takes fasting and, and hold on hold on I know it takes a cut loose life from sin we, we don't fast and pray and live and live and holy we live at the feet of Jesus we, we, we walk with respect we walk with principle so when we stand before God and say holy 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 lord god almighty the glory of god comes down because he looks at us and honors our praise you know how many people are fasting and praying today say they're fasting you know how many people say they're praying today they're fasting they're praying but if your life don't match up you're not getting the results come on talk to me you remember elijah there were 400 prophets all of them carrying on and calling on their God but they're stepping on man of God and when he built his altar my God the man of God even put water around it and you know that water and fire cannot mix but when you know the God you serve come on somebody when you know the God you serve you could be in any situation but you know that God is going to come through because you serve the risen Savior so we have voices today brethren let me teach you today we have voices but we're not following the voices we are following the Savior's voice oh praise the name of Jesus and maybe you may look where the voices are and you may see a whole heap of action over there you know people performing today you know a lot of performance is happening a lot of performance man my god uh, uh, apostles and prophets oh god an evangelist everybody's up there my god and people are just doing their thing and you say my god watch uh, what's going on over there my god but my god it's only it's only a show it's only a show but when you have the real authentic anointing somebody shout hallelujah <laughs> When you shout hallelujah, you don't need any other modification to get God's attention. One hallelujah and the anointing falls. Somebody say Jesus. Let, let a true worshiper say Jesus. We're we, 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 we not out on no spirited move. We got the authentic move of heaven. Jesus. Yes, man. We're not following voices. So we're in the scripture today. First Kings chapter 22. And we're going to read it together. Hallelujah. Because Jude warned us, you know. He said, earnestly contend for the faith. Which was once Bishop delivered. Because Paul said, look. He said, he said there is going to be grievous wolves. After my departure. They're going to try to scatter the sheep. And if you don't know the voice, you will be right behind them. Every drum beat, 
you're following behind them every shout you're following behind them but when you know Jesus voice somebody said Jesus voice oh I don't hear you I don't hear you man you fall asleep that's not good when you're sleeping in church you know I said you're falling asleep let me hear you say Jesus voice somebody said Jesus voice Open up your mouth, let the demon hear you. Because sometimes we sit down and demon just sit down power. Open your mouth and say, Jesus voice. Yeah. 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 Sweeter than all the voices. The Bible said they shall speak great swelling words. They preach better than me and you. Telling you what's gonna happen next week, minister. Telling you what's gonna happen. Oh the Lord. Hey, everybody, the Lord, you're coming out. Let the church say you're coming out. You're coming out out here. Let me tell you something. It's not every day you're coming out. Let me teach you. Sometime God wants you to stay in. Lord, I wish there was a church in here. I said, sometime God don't want you to come out. Sometime he wanted to stay right there. For if he wanted to come out, he would have he would have slain, praise God, the whole province when Hananiah and Michelle and Azariah, who is Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, he would not allow them to even go near the fiery furnace. But God wanted them to go in there to why God to show forth the glory of God. That when they put them down there and expect them to die, he said, My God, I see three men. No, I see four loose. Then I just say loose. You're in your situation, but you're loose. You're in your situation, but you can't worship. You're in your situation, but you can't praise God. It's not all the time you're coming out, but in your situation, you got to praise. Oh, yes, young people. You may be praying and fasting for some stuff. And you say, God, I won't come out. But it's not all the time you're going to come out. Sometimes God wants you to stay right there and show the glory of God. Lazarus was in the grave. God could have said, no, Lazarus, you're not dead. God was all the way over somewhere else. And Lazarus was all the way in Bethany. And God, God could have said, no, man. Lazarus, you're not dying. But but Lazarus said, God said to, to, to the disciples, look, our friend is sick. That's the first call. Our friend is sick. The second call, Lazarus is asleep. This is asleep? What do you mean by sleep? Lazarus is dead. They stay there and they wait. And when they wait, God could have raised up Lazarus right where he was. But God sat there even longer. Even longer and delayed. For the glory of God. Somebody said, for the glory. Somebody said, for the glory. Somebody said, for the glory. So let me tell you something. We know the voice of God. And let me tell you something. When these voices come, we must line them up with the word of God. Don't let these voices come and deter you and sweet you up and tell you God is going to do this for you. Me, what, me, I, me no, say God going to do it for me. No, I know God. He is going to do it for me. I know God is going to bring me out. He will bring me out in his time. Come on, somebody praise the Lord. God bringing me out, that's not nothing new. God is going to do something for me. That's not nothing new. That is why he declares that he's going to bless me. That's nothing new. But now we have people now they're following words now right. following voices so and, and no matter how much they follow they still can't get nothing but we're going to hold our seat in Zion somebody say hold your seat somebody say hold your seat so you have two kings here and I'm about to close two kings and one of them said to the other ones look it's time for us to take Syria Syria is ours Let's get Syria. So Jehoshaphat said, All right, we're going to get Syria. But before we go, let us seek what God is saying about it. Before we go, let's seek God. Come on, someone says, Seek God. Seek God. Somebody says, Seek God. And Jehoshaphat said, The fifth verse, unto the king of Israel, Inquire, I pray thee, at the word of the Lord today. He, he knew the order. 
don't just get up and go fight you have to seek to know if God is with you you have to know if God is in this move not because I am of age that does not mean I must pick up myself and make a move I will get in trouble if God is not in the move Oh, praise the name of Jesus. So here comes the king of Israel. He gathered the six verse, the prophets together, about 400 men, and said unto them, Shall I go against Ram of Gilead to battle, or shall I forbear? Shall, shall I go, or shall I not go? And all of them, all 400, all 400, not one of them miss a beat. What a big choir. All the choir said, Go up. All 400 said, Go up. Go up. For the Lord shall deliver it in the hand of the king. So Jehoshaphat looked and said, No, man, this can't be right. Something right here. I, I don't hear the sound. I, I hear voices, but I don't hear. I, I don't hear the voice of God. And he said, he said to the king, he said in the eighth verse, is there not yet one man that, 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 that we in the seventh verse, that, that is a prophet of the Lord, that we might inquire of him? Now hear the response of the other king. So yes, there's one. But I don't like him, I hate him. So the church I hate him. I, I don't like him, I hate him. I don't hate him because he never prophesied no good things about me. Lord of mercy. Talk to me, not you talk to me. It, she never, can I talk to you? He never seen nothing good for me yet. Everything that has to do with me is always evil. Well, if your way is not please God, what do you expect? Talk to me, church. Talk to me, the church. Let, let us reason together. If your ways don't please God, what do you want God to say? So he said, I don't want to hear from him. So what he did, him having 400 prophets to give him sweet voices, I can go. So, so the king said, no, don't say that. Bring him, bring him to us. Let we hear what he has to say. And while they were waiting for him, all the other prophets still singing the same song. <laughs> Verse 12. Go up to Ram of Gilead and prosper for the Lord shall deliver it into the king's hands. And when they went to Micaiah now, Sister Chambers, when they went, in Jesus' name, when they went, they said, look, Micaiah, the king called for you. But look here, when, it, when you go, all the prophets are speaking one thing. Don't make nobody shut you up. Don't make nobody tell you what to say. When God said, thus said God. I don't hear the church. 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 When God said, thus said God. Don't let nobody say, no, no. Change your tune. I want you to speak just like the other 400. So Makai said, no, I cannot do it. What God says for me to say. That will I say. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. Somebody praise the Lord. Somebody praise the Lord. Somebody praise the Lord. Somebody praise the Lord. And while he was there, the 11th verse, one of them gets so radical. The Bible says, he make two horn of iron. Lord, him get artistic now. So the, the, the words is not enough. He make two horns. And says, so shall. So shall. Praise God. With these horns, you shall push the Syrians and consume them. Brethren, it's a very serious thing when somebody prophesy a lie to you. It's serious business, your brethren. Let me tell you. It's serious business when somebody look at you and said, thus said the Lord. And God did not tell them nothing. I said it and I said it again. It's a very serious thing when somebody says, Evangelist, take that job for God said you must take it. And God knows from heaven above, He did not take anything to that person to tell you. You have blood on your hands when you speak what God did not say for you to speak. Somebody praise the Lord. Somebody praise the Lord. I know you're afraid, but praise the Lord. Oh, 
oh my God. Now here comes Micaiah. He comes in and he says, praise God. Amen. Praise God. In the 16th verse, the six, when, when Micaiah says, when Micaiah came up to him, Micaiah, Micaiah know that the king not in him. He's not in him. So he says, go king, the Lord be with you. But he said it sarcastically because he know that the king don't want the real word. So now the king gets angry and says, how many times did I tell you when you prophesied, I wanted to tell me what the Lord said. But if you want me to tell you what the Lord said, why you hate me? You want me to tell you what the Lord says. You hate it, but now you want the truth. So now he says to him, praise God, in verse 17, I saw all Israel scattered upon the hills as sheep that have not a shepherd and the Lord said these have no master let them return every man to his own house in peace and when the king of Israel said he said did not I tell you that this man never prophesied good to me always prophesying evil about me and he said 19 hear therefore the word of the Lord I saw the Lord sitting on his what Hallelujah. on his what come on he don't stop there when, when God is about to speak man he's going to wheel out yeah. praise God and he said and all the hosts of heaven standing by him on his right hand and on his left and the Lord said who shall persuade Ahab praise God that he may go up and fall let us just say fall, fall. And one said unto this manner, and another said on this manner, and therefore came a spirit and stood before the Lord and said, I will persuade him. And the spirit is saying in verse 11, I will go forth and I will be a lying spirit. Let's just say a lying spirit. A lying spirit stood before the Lord and said, I will go. Do you know that good and evil stand before God? Come on, talk to me. Good and evil stands before God. The Spirit says, I will go and I will be a lying spirit in the mouth of all his prophets. And he said, Thou shalt persuade him and prevail also. Go forth and so do. And the 24th verse, when they heard it, they slapped the man of God in the cheek. Somebody says, Slap. <laughs> Somebody says slap him. When you're anointed, you think it's going to be easy for you? Yes. For those of you who are anointed, raise your hand. Raise your hand, all my anointed children of God. Raise your hand if you're, if you're anointed. You're not anointed, raise your hand. When you get into that realm and start to speak the word of God, thus said God, do you think it's going to be easy? You think you're going to have a nice uh, popularity fan base where you get likes and shares? No, it's not going to be easy for you. It wasn't easy for Jesus. So how is it going to be easy for us? So, th so that's the difference today. A lot of people are preaching, but they're looking for fans. They're looking for a big congregation to back them up. But if you're a true child of God, you're not looking for fans. You're not looking for hurrahs. You're speaking, thus said God. Somebody said, thus said God. So here the 27th verse now. It says, put this fellow in the prison and feed him with bread of affliction and with water of affliction until I come in peace. And Micaiah said, if thou return at all in peace, the Lord have not spoken by me. And he said, hearken, O my people. And I will close the Bible here to make a long story short. At the end of the story, one of them feigned themselves. Jehoshaphat was in his robe. And the other king put on another garment. But he was killed. An arrow caught him and he died right in his chariot. And not only that, dogs licked the blood of the kings right in the chariot. The people of God, it pays to listen to the right voice. Because when you have the wrong connection, when you have people in, when you have the wrong people in your circle, you can get the wrong news the wrong instruction 
they will tell you God yes sir but don't follow them oh come on there was a church in here they will say take this but don't follow them you want to know that it's the word of God that is that is instituting the move. If it's not the word, somebody says stand still. So if it's not the word, somebody says hold your seat. If it's not the word, tell somebody don't go, don't go over yonder. Stay where God put you and wait for the word of God. I want to hear the voice. I don't want. I don't want to be a pastor when people tell me may I preach. Pastor, this one, this one is the right one, and and, and I, I have to follow them like like Jack in the Box or Simon says. So the people say, so Pastor said. I want to follow the voice of God. People of God, I brought this lesson to you to teach us. Let us know the voice of God. It's not the. It's not what you see. Some things look so glamorous. Some things are going to look like, I, I, I have seen people that, my God, when I heard them speak in tongues, it, it made me look like I wasn't filled. I, I don't know if you've ever been there. When I heard them, my God, I said, my God, I, I want to I wanna do that tongue thing too. My, did I really get the Holy Ghost? They, they, they speak with like a word, like a word, like, like Spanish and Japanese all in a one. The, 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 the R is roaring. But when, but when you check them out at the end, when, when, you, when you check them out, because the Bible says, every man's work shall be tried with fire. When the fire came, you don't see them no more. Oh Lord Jesus. I said, when fire come, you, the same warrior that was speaking A, B, C, D, H, I, J, K, L, O, P, when fire come, they run. Yeah. But you who had the one tongue, somebody stood up on their feet and give God the praise. You who had the one syllable, the two syllable, they say you speak the same syllable all the time. But my God, fire come and you're still standing. Be careful, brethren. Let me warn you, be careful. It's not everything that glitters gold. You look at yourself and you say, my God, I wonder if I have it. I wonder, I wonder if I really get it like them. I wonder if me really feel like how they feel. Lord Jesus, I wonder if, why them have the power, man. Me not no power. But yes, yes, yes. It can only be like that for a while. When the fire blazes. You are going to see if I would, or if you are going to see a gold, or you are going to see if it's silver, but the real thing is going to show. Come on, somebody said the real thing is going to show. That's why when we're in the house of God, let us be real. Somebody said let us be real. Somebody said let us be real. Because guess what? God have a way to send a fire in the minutes. Yes, sir. And when the fire passed by your row and it burned the skirt tail, if there's a tail there, we're going to see it. And if it burn off a piece of your heart, if there's a horn there, we're going to see it. Because the fire is used to try everybody and to expose. It's either it's going to build you or expose you. Lord Jesus, you're not talking to me. I said the fire come for two reasons. Either to farm you or to expose you. So brethren, hear me. Hear me now in closing. We're not, we're not worried about the exposure. Because the exposure is for our own good. Because when stuff is in that should not be in, it's contamination. It's a contamination. I said when st when some material is in what should not be in, contamination. I you see this church, God have the right material. Lord Jesus, you're not talking to me, Bishop. God have the right material. 
This is not going to be a church where everybody just come and full up. God have specific vessels to sit where he want them to sit. And if you don't belong here, God is going to sweep you out. For it's a Holy Ghost church. Somebody say Holy Ghost church. That's why you have to make sure you keep your seat in Zion. Make sure you're living a life. Because guess what, young people? It don't matter if you have a mother inside, you know. Let me talk to you. It don't matter if mommy's here. When God has sweep, my God sweep. So you have to make sure if mommy hold on, you hold on. My children, it don't matter if that is the pastor. When God has sweep, you go sweep. Make sure you hold on. For when the storm come, brethren, when a literal storm come and the wind blow, the storm don't have no respect of person. Baby carriage are blow away. Furniture are blow away. Fathers are blowing away. Mothers are blowing away. Everybody have to find something to hold on. So brethren, we are going to listen to the voice of God. I'm sorry if my preachers are too hype for you. But me not hype up. I teach me, I teach. For the Bible warned me. So feed the flock and take the oversight thereof. Do you, and I close it. Do you know why Paul and Peter write so much epistles? Because there was so much opposing words fighting against the work of God. So he had to write the brethren and warn them. I said, I'm warning you. Don't listen to certain voices. Listen to the voice of God. Listen to the voice of God. Listen to the voice of God. Brother Zachary, listen to the voice of God. Brother, listen to the voice of God. Because voices will come. Oh yes, somebody said voices will call. Voices will call. I said voices will call. <laughs> when God put Adam and Eve, hold it. When God put Adam and Eve in the garden, Whose voice came up in there? The serpent. Serpent walking up in there and said, Did God say? God gave a command, but did God say? When Joshua the high priest was standing before God, who came to accuse him? The devil. Right now, brethren, we are in this time. We are in the same fight. Vices will come. But in the name of Jesus Christ, we're going to stand our ground. We're going to stand our ground. Lift your hands right now. We're going to pray. And I'm going to pray for you. You don't have to pray. I'm going to pray. Because the hardest job is to be a shepherd, you know. The hardest job is to be a shepherd. The shepherd have to make sure. You see the oil? You have to make sure and pour it at a certain place of the sheep, the lambs, that the parasites don't get in their ears. So when they try to walk up there, they just slide right down. If you're not careful, it doesn't have to be a person. It could be, it could be something that you're listening to. It could be something that you watch. Because the Bible says we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities, spiritual wickedness in high places. I'm going to ask you to lift your hands to heaven. Lift your hands to heaven. Lift your hands to heaven. And we're going to say one prayer. I want the churches to say Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. Come on. I want you to guard this word today, brethren. Don't let the enemy steal it from you. For those of you who know the word of God, guard this today. Don't let it go to one ear and come out the other. For the Bible says, some fell among the wayside. Some fell among thorns. Some fell on stony ground. And some fell on good ground. We want to make sure that these words bring forth life in our soul. Almighty God and Father, in the name of Jesus, I present your people to you today. 
God, your people, not my people. These are your people. You gave your servants charge over them to give them meat in due season. Oh God, to feed them your words and to take the oversight thereof. Lord, we understand that it's not just a Sunday aspect, oh God. It is a daily, daily watching and praying. We pray for them today, God, one more time, that you will bless these as you, Lord God, was on earth. And you blessed the disciples. You bless those who are after. Lord, I stretch my hands over your people. I pray that you bless them, Lord. I pray that you lie, God Almighty, strengthen and keep them and preserve them. Lord, let your good doctrine dwell in them, Jesus. And whatever is happening in the world today, let it not turn them aside in the name of Jesus. Whatever the enemy plots and sets for them as a trap, God, let it be just like the scripture. It says, by you, God, I have run through a troop. And by my God, I have leaped over a wall. Give your people the same anointing God to run to a troop and to leap over a wall. Your word said that you make our feet like hinds feet to walk over the high places. Your word says you give us power to tread upon the serpents and the scorpions and all the power of the enemy. God give your people more power. Give them more anointing. Give them more depth and height and breath in you God give them more discernment give them more understanding give them more wisdom and knowledge give them Jesus open up their understanding to the scriptures open up their minds open up their hearts to receive you bless them Lord bless them Jesus we come against every parasite we come against every poison we come against every tick we come against every disease we come against every sickness we rebuke it right now in the name of Jesus every false tongue every false voice every secret lies every false encouragement cooked up that looks like it is good but it's not we rebuke it now cover your people from the spirit of the enemy from the lying spirit of the prophets cover them God Lord I pray that if even any approach them they will drop right before them the words will be come to naught right before their eyes Lord lift up a standard in the lives of your people let nothing that is unauthorized minister to them let nothing that is unauthorized serve them let nothing that is unauthorized dwell among them let it be confounded even before it utters out of its mouth let it be put to naught oh God if any stretch their hand to put their hands upon them to pray and they are not right God stiffen it out God Lord we are lifting up a standard against every false prophet false minister false voice Lord we are your children we are living in a deadly time when there's so much voices so much action so much churches so much oh God that are pretending to be your spokesman so much pretending to be a, a hand of your healing for you so much who are pretending to be your voice God we are wrestling today against them and you see everything and you know everything and whatever is not of you Lord Lord, we know it must come down. Bless this ministry, God. Our bishop, oh God, the ministers and all the saints. Let us grow, God. Let us flourish. Let us bring forth fruits. God Almighty, multiply us 30 fold, 60 fold, 100 fold. Bless the lives of your people. Let it be evident, God, that you're with us. Let it be evident, Jesus, 
that you're standing with us God God we are putting you to the test at this time let it be seen among the nations let it be seen among the churches seen among the sinners whatever eyes behold us let it be seen let it be seen let it be seen, let it be seen this day that you are with us in the name of Jesus Lord I'm calling upon you like my forefathers used to call upon you I'm calling on you like how my father Bishop Brown called on you I'm calling on you like how Bishop Allison called on you and all men and women of renown called upon you by faith I call on you today if we are pleasing in your sight Jesus Christ if we are living a life of holiness if we are doing the right thing show up for us today we will stand in Elijah's stead we will challenge the false prophets we will challenge the lying spirits if you are with us God show it up today and let our praise be given to you let our praise be given to you move how you want to move protect your people cover them the young people help them God to be stable help them to be sound in their mind the older brethren help them Jesus in the name of Jesus Christ we pray in Jesus name in Jesus name hallelujah hallelujah Jesus somebody said Jesus somebody rise up man get out of your weak states get out of your quiet states open up your mouth and say Jesus Shatamakasaya. I feel a warrior to come over me right now. I feel like Elijah. Somebody say Jesus. If we're living holy, God, if you're playing hanky panky, you're gonna show it up. And if we're living right, you're gonna show it up. Echo Messiah. Hallelujah. We're gonna stand. Lord, we, we can't be living right and God not show up. We can't say we are living God not show up. In the name of Jesus. We stand like Pete and Paul. We stand like Abraham. Like Isaac and Jacob. We stand in authority. We will not doubt. But we will pursue by the word of the Lord. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. Haka Messiah. I send you brethren. I send you forth like warriors today. Go home as a warrior. Go home with your faith increased. Go home with the power of the Holy Ghost. Walk to your bedroom and declare Shata Makosaya. No more weakling spirits. Shandai Matosa. Shata Makosaya. Walk on the street like a warrior of God. Look to the heavens and declare. 